Now Roly, that's how you giving it up. Luxury and Lady Girl from Run Away. We have culture, conversation, and community. And in today's video, I'm coming to you all with a one more chance. Zeus Network Season 2 Reunion Part 3. This is finally it, girl. They drag it out into five parts like they normally do. So let's just hop right into it. Wop Wop and Dalty, they're both in distress. Okay, they are both man down. Okay, they are down for the count. And, um, you know, Roly is just enjoying it. Roly is just like, you know, ah, -ha, na -na 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 -boo -boo, like just going off, like just like very much like you just want to uh, um, uh, uh, fight at the recess. And now, you know, you in the principal's office and you, you still trying to get calmed down. And you hype, but you got to cross. So you keep going. It's giving very much that. <laughs> Get out and Roly are, um, I guess getting their wigs reinstalled. Brown Sugar is still hype. You wore that dress to the premiere party. Like, some people don't have arguing voices, and Brown Sugar is one of those girls. Like, Brown Sugar, don't argue no more because I don't like the way you sound. Um, Roly is just going off, like, how you let me walk up to? I'm not letting no bitch run up on me, and that's the truth. Like, literally, Roly just walked up on her, she stayed seated the whole entire time. Like, sis, what did you think? What did you think? Why would you just let her roll up on you like that? Like, that's ridiculous. And why, why, you talk way too loud. You do way too much to be giving it up like that, girl. Wow. Just wow. Not wop wop, but wow. <laughs> he walks back on stage. Like, you know, just in this childlike juvenile bliss. Like, you know what I mean? She's walking back on stage like, yeah, I just did that. And she starts hopping on Chance like, Chance, don't let that girl hug on you. Why you let that girl hug on you? And she was talking about your brother. And Chance was like, oh yeah, man, oh God, I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot about that. That was that was like so in the past or whatever the case. And he was like, that bitch, she, she was talking about your brother. So Claudia asked a question like, Chance, well, how do you feel about her talking about your dead brother on this, that, and the third? And he was like, yeah, you know, I just felt like, you know, it was just weird. And Micah had this serious face like she didn't know him from a you know hole in the wall like what did i do to her to make her so upset that she needed to mention my brother which is like trash i don't know if she posted a picture i didn't see it i couldn't find out exactly what she said either but if you know what she said please leave it in the comment girl because i want to know they asked the question like who was here who actually liked him i'm like yo claudia is shady does anyone here really like him i did I I actually did. I did. I thought I did. You thought shitty boots for that. He's just sitting there looking like the old man that could. Like, yeah, who actually did like me? He's so whack to me now. Chance really went out like terrible this time around. Yeah, I liked him. Some of the girls say she did. I did. I used to like him or whatever the case may be. Then they want to hear from Skittles. And Skittles just pretty much just said, you know what, Chance? I was really here for you. I really liked you. I've always been a fan for you. I, I came on this show knowing I didn't want to degrade myself. No, I didn't want to make a fool of myself. And it's just crazy that the man that I'm fighting for was, you know, making a fool of me. And that makes sense. Like, he was dogging Skittles. Like, in hindsight, he really was. Like, we knew, everybody knew he wasn't picking Skittles, period. Now, she did come on there with a, a couple of thin wigs for her to be a wig maker but that still don't give you the right to like dog her out like that when you can tell she was genuinely there for you i feel like out of everybody she probably had the most love for chance you feel what i'm saying not out of everybody but you know the newer girls is what i should say and you know she said when i fall showing out for her off camera because i don't want my name to be out there like that chance is like ain't nobody tell you to fight ain't nobody tell you to fight for me he just can't see it for her because of the whole gay allegations so anytime that skills is saying something he cannot hear it she can't hear him either they going at it but what was really pissing her off her feelings was the fact that he was talking so much she's like you got all these beautiful females here everybody is a beautiful female on this stage you know everybody's a bad bitch in their own right you know what i'm saying i never and i always get along with females i never have so much drama with females or whatever the case he's like good well be with a female then you why didn't you choose bad and bougie bad and bougie is beautiful khadija is beautiful you it's it, but what's the problem you know you we know what she insinuating or whatever and he's like you know and then all things you're trying to make fun of me you're coming at my titties my titties though you said my titties were botched she was so pressed about them titties 
So Janisha was like, yeah, come over here, girl. Let me see what them titties is doing. Because they start saying, my titties are not hard. They're Man, my titties are hard. Go ahead and say it. My titties I, I are hard. I didn't ask. I said, are they? They're soft. My titties are not hard. And real niggas don't care if you have if you have a fake ass or not. Real, and real, that's true. Like, niggas do not care if it's a fake ass. Niggas don't even care if it's a stank ass. You know what I mean? The ass is ass, ass to most of these niggas. You know what I mean? So she's like, um... She walks over to Janisha and Janisha feels her titties. She's like, yeah, yeah, the titties are titty. And like, she was like, so Mike was like, you, you want to get another feel? Like, just instigating or whatever the case. He was like, man, I don't even know what those titties even really feel like. I don't even remember. I wasn't even really interested in those titties for real, for real. And I just remember when they asked me about it, I felt like, you know, it was something bonky going on about it. He was like, see, you're still doing it. And Claudia's like, yeah, Chance, you're still doing it. You're being rude. Claudia tries to clean it up like Chance, but you're a personality. And sometimes you make things a little flagrant for the TV. And he was just like, yeah, that's that's true, but I really don't even remember what her titties even feel like. So you could have just easily said, I was just popping shit. Why didn't he say that? After Claudia, like, gave him that little weak-ass Ali oop, he tried to clear it up. Like, well, if I did offend you, you know, I'm sorry. I just, you know, I'm used to women who can take a joke. I'm used to women who can, you know, have a personality. Like, nobody wants to talk about titties being saggy, titties being hard after you spend some money on them. Like, come on, Chance. That's real. Ain't nobody talk about your, your bandanas and your sparkles and your beads and all of that. So why are you coming at these ladies? And that was the point that she was trying to make. And I feel like had he took a little bit of accountability, it would have got smoothed over. At least in the eyes of the public. Damn. But, you know, I feel like Skittles did low-key drag. My titties, though. My titties, though. My titties, though. <laughs> My girl, them titties. You paid for them. You got them. You got them sitting up. They hanked up, girl. Let them titties be. In the process of that, girl, Wap Wap pulls up. And she's like, what's up, B? What's up, B? Stealing land a single punch. Just hit that, that time that Roly hit Wap Wap, like, you can hear it. Yeah, yeah, pick up. Oh. shit was over, bitch. I felt it from here you know what I mean from weeks ago all the way from LA do you feel what I'm saying like it was hard um it was just like random and out of control you heard them hits connect though it was crazy then Claudia was like whose wig is this she picks up Wop Wop's wig and she was and Chance was like I'll put it on like so Claudia was all weird trying to like put the wig on him and stuff like that he was like no man I'm just playing like are you playing or not bro like have a personality take a joke <laughs> you know what I mean and um Roly walks right up to Claudia and like puts her hand out and she gave her the wig or whatever the case and like when I tell you what she was doing with this wig was just unbelievable she humps the wig she uh washes her vagina with it she washes her underarms she lifts up both of her boobs she lifted up her her breast just like Jerry Springer ish um back when Jerry was terrible like I just couldn't believe she was doing all that I know she wants camera time and I know like you know that's what Roly is known for and everything like this but damn girl you have to do all of that if that's what it if that's what it's giving I don't want it <laughs> I'm just saying she was yeah why I'm washing I'm washing my cooch with your wig and I'm on my period like what when she washed when she picked up her large breast and wash underneath her titties girl move right along swiftly and professionally the process of that her little sheer thing had got ripped so she's literally walking around with like a pillow in front of her her chest or whatever and she's just like she came back over and she sat down like you're not even going you didn't think to go like let me go change into something girl you about to sit up there and hold your breasts the whole time girl just you bitches ain't got the coof okay like damn c-o-u-t-h because you can't spell it either okay i couldn't even let that just slide oh girl mm. Anyway, Roly tries to sit down. Janisha ends up sending her off. Like, Roly, go go find yourself something to wear, baby girl. Like, yes, girl, go do that. And I'm uh, Janisha, it's a shame that you have to instruct her to go do that. She walks up the stage like, I'll be back, y'all. Like, girl, ain't nobody. Anyway, uh, Janisha tries to gain back control of the stage. She said, the girls were so focused on the beef between each other that nobody really was focusing on you. 
<laughs> and that's just the God's honest truth about this about this season. Smiles chimes in and she just says like, you know, the drama happened because of the women and you were keeping the women that were causing the drama, you know, and I would just like to see that you don't blame the network for everything. And then Claudia just says, I don't know, we're like, would you have liked for him to fight for you more? Like Claudia, no, that's not what the fuck she's saying. What she's saying is you kept the drama going. And then when it was time for you to eliminate, you kept the girls that that was causing the drama. You know what I'm saying? And you need to not blame it all on the network and take some accountability period she, smiles was like look at soldier she did everything she did everything you wanted and you still didn't even choose her well, uh roly finally comes back she prances right on back onto the stage and she realized that she doesn't have a seat so she sits right next to dotsie dotsie's just sitting there with the straight face trying to feel look unbothered but girl she was bothered i felt that tense that intensity so they asked they asked janisha x to switch with skittles for them to go back to their original seating so that way they can kind of get through it Rolly was Rolly was coming off like a bully period she was and i like Rolly for what it's worth but it was given bully what y'all think let me know in the comments then we finally have this cute little video package of the final two and um you know we obviously know it was bad and bougie and um soldier girl so they come back and they ask Chance like well why didn't you choose anybody he just said you listen you know in real life or on tv like I'm not gonna play with anybody you know what I mean I'd much rather eliminate you than if I feel like I'm gonna play you so that's what I had to do he said as far as soldier girl like she had those tiny kids a young child and I could tell that you know she needed to be with her family she didn't give her family a real chance and I just wanted to do that like maybe if I had to take a step back and stop being intimate with her so that she, so that way she can see that she needed to be with her family you know and that's what it is I know how it is like I have children of my own she was showing me pictures of you know her daughter and I could tell that it was something there that she wanted to try with her family so you know I, I could just tell I could just read it and as far as bad and bougie he didn't even know what to say about bad and bougie literally like he was just stuck and then she she chimes in and was just like yeah I was just too much for you and he was just like yeah that's right you were too much for me um you know she just she she, she no no, <laughs> you know, she just they both agree bad and bougie and Skittles that they enjoy their time with Chance for what it's worth. Chance says he just knew that I wasn't right. He said I can look in somebody's voice. I can be looking to somebody's eyes and hear it in their voice if they're really here for me or not. If they're if it's really what it's supposed to be or not. And I could just tell that it wasn't. So Claudia asked if, if she felt played. You know, she was like, because honestly, after having sex with him, because it came out. So she's like, so did y'all have sex? Like, Claudia, did you watch the show? Because clearly we know everybody knows that they were having sex. Yes, they were having sex. Um, she said, honestly, I would feel a little betrayed by that. And she was just like, yeah, you know, I did feel a little played. But at the end of the day, it worked out because, you know, you, you played me or whatever. She tried to make it a thing like, um, I went back to my baby dad and I gave my baby dad one more chance or whatever the case. Like, uh, okay, girl, you still can't talk. You still so cute, though, but you still can't talk, girl. It was just like, you know, I feel like Chance was trying to just pretty much give, like, I gave a back to the street vibe or whatever. And she's trying to make it seem like I just went back to my baby daddy. And you could just hear Skittles in the background. Like, Khadija, eat him up, yo. Eat him up, sis. I loved Skittles' energy because she was, like, on his neck the whole entire time. Eat him up, sis, period. Then we have the flashback of Soldier Girl and Bad and Bougie Beef when he was like, she's in Georgia alone with only her baby dad or whatever. And Soldier Girl car is so fake and hype with Bad and Bougie. And she was just like, I was never talking about your kids, love. You know that I love children. I would never do that. She said, if you felt offended, I'm sorry. You know, she just straight outright said it, that she was apologetic for making that comment if it offended her. Everybody, but she was like, at the same time, everybody has been saying everything. You called me a prostitute. You called me a hoe. You called me this and the third. And then Betty, um, Rolly chimes in like, you are a prostitute. She was like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. So you don't no, sell pussy. Not. No, I'm not. So you don't. ain't never no, sell me pussy again. No, I'm not a prostitute. I am not a prostitute. She stayed calm too. Like, I'm not a prostitute. Just because, you know, men spoil me doesn't make me a prostitute. Then she stands up and then Big Bad Roly, she was on like, hate to use this word. I ain't even going to use it, but <sighs> it just wasn't a good look for my BBWs, my dark skin BBWs. You know what I'm saying? Like, ew. Um, anyway, so she goes up to her. You better not. Don't stand up on me, ho. Don't stand up on me, ho. Like, girl, bad and bougie. I mean, 
fucking rolling get away from me and what i liked about bad and bougie was she was just like not even like face she was like she was holding her ground like girl you're not about to push your weight around and bully me you get what i'm saying you're not gonna push your weight around bully me she's like i wasn't a hoe i'm not a hoe it's just it's, you're just mad because because i want to take care of me they don't want to take care of you probably got to sell your box niggas probably just want to spend time with her you get what i'm saying and i'm not saying she's selling pussy or not because most of the girls are <laughs> that's just how most of the girls giving it up but um prostitute maybe that's a little different i don't know but what i did like was bad and bougie was holding her ground and she was like chest bumping her like sit down then sit down she was like no you sit down i'm not sitting down bad and bougie was not she was not giving up like she was afraid and i can appreciate that because Rolly thought she was just about to punk her. They were nervous for a second. Micah was like, she don't want to fight. She don't want to fight. Yeah, she's like, yeah, I don't want to fight. We were just having a conversation. I'm just saying, everybody was called something. And Rolly is just looking for another moment. And I just felt like Rolly knew not to fight her because you'd have just been looking weird, bro. Like, very weird. And out of nowhere, Slim runs up and, like, beats up Dalty again. Unsuspecting, terrible Dalty. And Dalty has said some terrible things online, but I'm, I'm pretty sure she got her fair share um <laughs> if she have any hostings i'm sure they probably gonna try Dalty in the club because she got beat up one too many times slim was looking for a moment that really didn't happen so i'm not gonna even talk about it because that was unnecessary she was just trying to get a little moment she was just trying to get a little bit of shine and i don't think it worked out in the way that she wanted it to it's adamant that um Madame Bougie was selling puss with Danny Banks, who who has like 1.3, 1.8 million followers on Instagram. It's crazy. They talk about the wobbly ankle moment, and that was kind of like how they ended it on a high note. And she was just like, girl, it wasn't the shoes. I was just standing up. And she was like, my ankles, they just said they was enough. So I just, I just, you know, what is it? It is what it is. Like, and everything on a high note, they said, go around and just talk about one positive thing. Brown sugar starts off like, you know, it is what it is. I didn't want to fight you. Whatever the case, y'all are weird. I enjoy my experiences. And Claudia, at the end of the day, you you invoked that fight. And I just want to appreciate that. Like, we are grown women here. You you told that girl that you, did you want to fight? And we fought again. And I just feel like that was whack. And she called you was just like, no, well, everybody has a choice. And Madame Boozy is like, yeah, that you're right. She was like, I'm not about to, and Brown Sugar said, I'm not about to um, walk away from a fight and somebody is taking their shoes off. Like, come on now, girl, we on national TV. And I get her point. I get both of their perspectives. Claudia knew that she was inciting that fight, period, point blank. She tried to clean it up and make it look cute. You know, she's like, you know, whatever. Brown Sugar was trying to have a little moment with Claudia. But Claudia was being messy. She was doing her job. I don't know what y'all think. Was Claudia being messy or not? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what y'all think. I didn't even tell her what I think. Janice is low-key low key agreed, though, because she was shaking her head yes. She did try to clean up and, like, plug her little music. That's what I would have been. I would have been plugging all of my products. Y'all follow me on such and such. Woot, 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 woot. I would have been trying to come at Claudia. When it was Small's turn to talk, she just started to talk about Dalty. Um, you know, she just started talking about Dalty. Basically, like, you're weird. You talk about me so much. You're weird. She tried to get Buck up at the last minute. Smalls didn't say absolutely nothing the whole entire reunion. It was sickening. They were just there. Um, Biggie comes out and she says her little one too. She says she wasn't sucking D of the security guard, but she was effing him. And Chance was just sitting there looking like. Rolly says she loves she and she loves Mike because she got genuine love for them. You know, she gave them, they gave her an opportunity and it's genuine love. That's all that's it. Skittles has said something about bad and bougie. Like, I, I ain't got nothing to say to y'all. I'm calm now. Hopefully, I didn't make a fool of myself. But um, I'm mad at Skittles. I'm mad at, I mean, I'm mad at bad and bougie for saying something about my mom. X slash bombshell says, Micah, I hope you have a show because I want you on the low. Micah apologizes for getting irate with the women. And Chance pretty much just says that he might be looking for more love in season three. But he don't know if he can do any more American girls. He might have to be in a different island on an island or a different country or something because he's tired of american women y'all i feel like this season was way more drama but less of the drama that we like because a lot of the drama happened off camera and that's unfortunate because we would have liked to see what happened like why we ain't seen no nothing with the security guard why we ain't seen nothing about you know the, the shine and and um what you call them fight like i just feel like too much is happening off camera i think that the production team 
and the security guards everything is kind of getting watered down over there at Zeus like it's just too much of a blurred line so we're not getting the actual story that we need to get um Chance really played himself <sighs> just it's not looking good for him and women period um what do y'all think if he has another season would y'all watch or would y'all tune in let me know if y'all been rocking with me the whole time catch up on my old videos if you're new here i'm going to link them in the description um make sure you like this video because it helps me on the youtube algorithm also consider subscribing i'd greatly appreciate it as always i'm sending you much love and much light and i will see you in the next video peace